Hello, my friends. Okay, so this is a planetary uh, weather report for Sagittarius rising. You can um, listen for if you're a Sagittarius sun sign or um, Sagittarius moon, but I really recommend people listen for um, their rising sign. What the hell is this thing? Do you see this? Something weird happening over here? I don't have time for this. Okay, um, the light's a little weird right now, so sorry. So basically, this is um, July 21st through 24th, um, because that's where more action is happening. Um, and we're just going to go over a couple, like the overview is um, Jupiter is having kind of a last hurrah with Venus, uh, and that is really great. And then we're going to have the full moon in Aquarius um, coming through on Friday. So we're going to basically be talking about those two things. So for you, um, Sagittarius rising, um, Jupiter has been in your fourth house of home, family, living situation, ancestry, or roots. So something to do with that where Jupiter is the planet of um, expansion, opportunity, um, options, possibilities, and um, luck, uh, just expanding and putting more on in a good way. Uh, more options, more possibilities. Um, and so that has been great, and it's even been more great because Jupiter is in his one of his favorite places, which is Pisces, um, and it's a place where he has all of his tools, all of his, everything in his home is like there for him to be giving you even more gifts. So, th so this is a wonderful, very flowing, very um, generous kind of situation. Um, Jupiter is retrograde right now so he's backing up and planets do that so he's eventually next week going to retrograde all the way back into Aquarius and we'll talk about that next week but in Aquarius it's not exactly well it's not his home and it's not exactly even like an Airbnb that he's like this is amazing it's not really great but it's not really horrible it's just sort of like yeah it's cool it's fine it gives me what i need i have like you know wi-fi there's a bed it's not like amazing um but jupiter still continues to do his jupiterian stuff um it, no matter where he goes and where he will be regressing back into is back into your house your third house of siblings um neighbors neighborhood your daily routine and things that you do daily communications daily learning um, stuff like that, that that will be um, kind of highlighted here as as Jupiter um, makes his way back there, and we'll we'll talk about that next week. But what I want to talk about um, right now is Jupiter, while he's still here in Pisces, in his home place with all of his magical tools at the ready, um, in your fourth house of home, of family, of living situation. I would imagine that maybe there has been an expansion of sorts of home. Or building a new home or moving or maybe something to do with family expanding in some way um, and this last like meeting of well this last kind of party that um, Jupiter has in Pisces Wednesday and Thursday Wednesday and Thursday he's meeting with uh, Venus and Venus is like uh, love harmony bringing things together beauty how we find pleasure in the world uh, it could be romance and values worth money things like that it's all the good stuff and Jupiter's like more more options uh you know more possibilities opportunities this is really good obviously it's really good energy and that that Venus energy is going to be in your 10th of career or public standing so between the 10th of career public standing your outward place and then the fourth being your inward place of home family living situation there could be um a lot of goodness there it's like they're having a party and they're clinking champagne glasses and it's expansion of beauty value some kind of exchange of harmony and relationships and uh, maybe support and luxury or indulgences um, something being inflated um, it could be though with a Jupiter um, Venus situation in an opposition like this it could be possibly going beyond what needs to like maybe saying too much doing too much um overextending yourself where you're like yeah that's gonna totally work and it's like that's way a uh, way beyond what is possible like building it up and inflating it and it's just like this cannot like sustain it's just it's it's like an 
overinflated situation um, of goodness and great, but you might find yourself overdoing it in the realm of, you know, money or eating or drinking or relationships or something like that, but having to do with the 10th house of career and the fourth house of home and family. So that is um, Wednesday, Thursday, where, you know, have fun, have the party, but like keep things kind of under wraps because you don't want to go too far where you have to like deal with something afterward that would be, you know, a little too much. So we, so we're having um, Jupiter in his favorite place, meeting with Venus, and she's you know doing all this great stuff, bringing these this beauty and this kind of bounty of of romance and beauty and just uh, gifts, kind of a, a gift bringer to your tenth house of um, career and public standing. And then on Friday we're having the full moon um, in Aquarius, and that is in your uh, yeah your third house of siblings, of neighbors, of neighborhood your daily route, things, people you know in your neighborhood or things you do on a day-to-day -day basis that are just kind of your trance world. Like you're just like, I don't even know how I drove here, but I just know I drove to the grocery store and you're just day-to-day -day life kind of things, communications, basic life kind of stuff. Um, full moon there. It's kind of like coming to a harvest point or a culmination of okay so this is where we're at and let's look at this area what do we have to look at in this area it's fine however saturn has been sitting there since last december and that's becoming it's it has been and it will continue throughout this year and then into next year to be a heaviness or a responsibility or a um you know a sense of duty or red tape or lockdown or um uh, just a stagnation of some sort or something that you can't really push for through it's like a wall of some sort in that third house of siblings neighbors neighborhood routine communication so the full moon is kind of like that's great you had your party and that's whatever but like we're having this moment now to shine a light on the fact that saturn is sitting here and still needs to be addressed in that house and um you know, it doesn't have to be bad, but we just need to kind of focus on this and get your sleeves rolled up, um, Jupiter, because you're coming back to the third to kind of work out some details here. And that's great. Jupiter can come back. It might not be his favorite place, but he can, when he is, wherever he is, he's adding expansion opportunities, another way of seeing things like we don't have to be locked down to this. What about this? So that is really good. It can like be a bit healing, a bit of a moment of, uh, we have more options here, more cards on the table with Jupiter moving back into that place of siblings, neighbors, neighborhood, um, and communications. So that we will talk about that more um, next week because there's a whole story to go into with that. We're not going to go into that. But I also wanted to highlight that Saturn isn't just sitting there in your third and you're going, okay, siblings, neighbors, I have to figure this out. Saturn is part of this Uranus Saturn square that Uranus is in your sixth house of health, healing, hard work or labor or service that you give to the world, possibly small animals or people who work under you. But that has been shaken up lately. Like Uranus there is like shaking, changing, things are changing. Is your health changing or being, you know, uprooted in some way? Um, the way you do or give service to the world or charities or something like that, that has been changing and will continue to with that Saturn kind of lockdown vibe in the third of like, no, we're not moving. We're not open minded. We're, I mean, I don't want to say we're not open minded, but it's like, it has to be this way. There's a wall, there's a red tape, there's this, that. Saturn is always the reason why you can't quite do it right now. And Uranus is always like, but I'm doing it right now. And the wall doesn't even uh, matter to me. I'm just going to bust right through it. So there it, is that tension still remaining between your third of, you know, the place of siblings, neighbors, neighborhood, daily life, and then the place of health, healing, service that you might do in the world maybe pets or people who work under you and this moon is kind of like yeah let's bring it back to saturn in the third where there's this you know red tape or you know the wall that kind of needs to be tended to and jupiter is kind of being called back to do his jupiter magic there and um jupiter will be um, going direct soon 
Um, and then we'll go out of um, Aquarius moving back into Pisces and back into your fourth house of home, family, living situation. But that doesn't happen until literally like New Year's Eve, like December 28th or something. So it's, it's a while until Jupiter comes back to his amazing place. Um, but that's not to say that he can't do great things and work wonders in that third house of siblings and neighbors. Um, it's just the place of like, oh, we got to we got to figure this out. So that is kind of what is going to be highlighted here with this moon coming through. Um, do I want to say anything else about this? Um, Sides of Cherries rising. I think that's it for now. Um, I'm just doing a quick roundup and then I'll be back next week with a little bit more about, you know, what happens when Jupiter moves back in and what happens, you know, uh, with any of that but yeah the, venus is moving now into your 10th of career and public standing so that also will be um this high point of gifts maybe f showing up with some kind of um some kind of uh little uh gift along the way in that realm that you might not um you might not have had recently it's just kind of like oh wow that worked out or i'm getting all this kind of good stuff is coming through so that is what I have for Sagittarius Rising, and I will be back uh, next week. Thank you.